Hello, welcome to Egidel. We are a trained civil and structural engineer. Okay, today I'll be showing you how to design a ground beam for this eight-story office building right here in Prota structure. Okay, so before we begin the foundation design, which is a pie foundation that, that we will use for this structure, we will first of all have to connect all the columns with a ground beam. So I'll be showing you how to connect that ground beam just now. Okay, so right now, to now connect our, our columns with a ground beam, we go directly to story 00 right here. But first of all, we'll click on this place and change from the 3D model to, uh, to our plan view. Now, from this plan view right now, we will now go right now and click on story 00 where we will have all our columns and our walls can see it here. So to now start to create your ground beam to connect all these, all these columns with, with beam, we will now have to now click on concrete member and then click on concrete beam as you can see there. So right now we will now have to now impute our, our width of beam which is, which is this and the depth of beam which is this. And right now we, we want to use the width of beam for this case to be 250 millimeter. As you can see there, they will now impute our depth. We want a, our, our ground beam depth to be 950, 950 millimeter. And then we will now have to now begin to insert our beam right now. So click at this place right now and click at this place. I can see there. And then we'll click again this point and then click again. And then we'll begin to insert all our ground beam as you can see it right now. So why we do this right now, I will say that if you have not um, subscribed to our channel Ekidel, I will say you please click on our subscribe button so that you don't miss our updates on all our civil and structural engineering design using different kind of design software, which in this case we are using right now Prota Structure. And soon we will also enter the the foundation design for this structure which is the pile foundation and if you don't know how to design a pile foundation I would say you should not worry yourself because you have come to the right place which is Ekidel where we teach a practical base of structural design and also structural detailing from the basics to the professional stage. Okay so also we have to now impute all our ground beams. The reason why we are doing this ground beam, why we are um, trying to connect all the columns with a ground beam is because so that if there is any form of vibration or settlement, you can see that um, all the all the all these columns will we now have to um, behave exactly the same instead of um, let there be a different let instead of the vibration to affect any column. Sorry, it will just affect all the all the columns at once instead of affecting the columns differently. So that's why we are trying to um, connect all the columns together, as you can see here. This is mainly used in the place where you have earthquakes. When there is an earthquake, it is always good, or when you're designing for an earthquake region, it is always good to connect all your ground beams together, to all your all, all your columns together. Sorry, and also if you are also designing for a high-rise building, it is advised to to connect all your columns together with a ground beam. That is what we are doing just now. Then after this stage right now, we can now go and design for our pie foundation. Okay, so I connect all my columns together. As you can see what I'm doing right now. Okay, and then, and also if you have not watched the, the part one of this video, I will say you should just click on, check on the link below and you will see the other, other parts of this video because we started this design from the scratch. Okay, and I'll also say that if you have any comment regarding what we are doing right now, I'll say you should drop the comment down below and we will reply you immediately. Okay, so right now we are done inserting all our ground beams, can see it here. And if we also go right now to close here and now go to our 3D view right now on this place, check on our 3D view right now, you can see that we have successfully inserted all our ground beam as you can see it here. Now, the, the, the next thing right now is to now insert our floor slab, our ground floor slab, you can see there. Well, we, we have to insert our floor slab at this place right now. So right now, we now go right now to now um, go back here, plan view, and then go to um, plan view. Then right now, we now click on what they call um, concrete member here, and then go to slab, as you can see it here. Now, we want our depth of slab, since this is, since this is directly on the soil, although it will be elevated from the soil directly, but this, since this is a soft structure, we want our slab thickness to be 200 uh, millimeter and if during if during the design stage and it is not sufficient then we cannot increase so I'll remove this I'll make this right now type zero and then put my slab thickness as 200 sorry 200 
that's, that's my slab thickness, and then use concrete cover to be 50. In this case, I want to use 50, but maybe in your own country, you can, um, like in US, US likely um, uses concrete cover on foundation to be 100. Okay, but here in Africa and other, other parts of the country, they use um, 50 or 75. Okay, let me use um, 75. In this case, or, or let's just say 50 as I've used before, 50. So right now, we're now begin now. Before you have to insert our slab right now, next to do right now is now go to this place and do this place load and impute our relative level because we, we, we don't want the we don't want this slab as you can see. Okay, let me just insert first. You can see that this slab we, we have direct contact with the soil. So we have to insert our relative level to raise that slab. So if we check right now on the 3D view right here, you can see that this slab that we inserted right here. Let me open that for you. This slab that we just inserted just now is trying to you can see that it's trying to rest at the floor level. You can see it here. But normally it is meant to um start from to, to like raise up up to this level. So that we, we will have to use a sand field like a sand to to sand feed this this depth or to this place where we have our slab right now so we will have to raise this slab up and to do that right now we have to now use to can edit the what they call relative level so you just click on the slab right now right click and the properties right now and then you have to now go now and edit the relative level as you can see it here on that load you can see here relative level so since our beam depth is 950 and our slab um, thickness right here is 200 so 950 minus 200 that gives us what that gives us 750 so if we go right now to impute our relative level at 750 and then click on what update you can see that this is now upward this slab right now 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 comes up i can see that now comes upward so if you now click on escape right now escape here escape right you can you can now see our slab coming upward and i can see there this is now our slab coming upward let me change this um slab to, um slab color to it so that it can be very visible let me change it so that it can be visible for you guys um okay not this one let me change it from here from this layer okay so right now if you have not um still subscribed to my channel ekidel i would say you should please um subscribe to the channel click on the subscribe button and subscribe and turn on the subscribers notification so that you don't miss when we post our videos okay so right now we now go to change this lab this is just to show you a bit um, full of graphics not to okay i'll just do this right now to to to, to like make to like make, make it dense or go here right now and choose a color of um blue let me choose a blue color for that and choose this right now and then say or choose this right now and then say okay then if I say okay right now, you can see that this lab will close change. So that this is just to show you, um, to show you a bit graphics of what we are doing right now. Okay, so you can see that this lab right now is now upward. You can see there. If you just done what again, you can see that this place right now we we will be filled up with um sharp sand or um or let me say laterite, but a well compacted sand will be here. While our slab will now be upward here. That that gives our slab a space from getting direct contact to. To, to the soil directly okay so right now we now have to now go and start the rest of the slab for all this um floor slab here so we go right now to go right now right click and then go here and then um go to our um, plan view now we now click on this place right now right click on this slab and then take the take all take all the properties that that we have already set as you can see it here then begin to insert right now now this this looks like a rough slab or a rough foundation that we are doing we are not performing a rough sorry we are not trying to perform a raft foundation. This is not okay here. Let me just um, remove this one. We are not doing a raft foundation because this is already an eight-story building, which we are going to use a pie foundation because once your story is more than five story, it is not advisable to use a raft, sorry, to, to, to use a, a raft foundation. It is advisable to use a a pie foundation for a story more than five meters, even if your soil is okay. You have, you have to use a pie foundation <coughs> sorry to be able to carry the load directly to a stable soil strata okay so right now we go again and, and impute here and impute this one here put here impute here and then okay so right now we have to create a bin along this side right now so go right now um escape and then go here right now concrete beam right now and then create a bin along this place along here and then along here also and along here and along here and along we didn't create a beam here before we create a beam under this wall because we are we want to also connect the wall together with um with, with that beam. so we'll do the same thing here also and here also okay so right now we we, we cannot go right now to now insert our slab by picking this slab um 
slab and property here and then begin so, so like i was saying before once your story is more than five story or five floors you are meant to use a pie foundation to be able to carry the load of that soil directly to a suitable soil strata okay so right now we click here right now and then let me delete uh, let me just click and delete this um, slab and then insert that particular one back and then put this here right now okay so right now you can see that we have success successfully right now inserted all our slab as you can see there right now so right now if we check on our 3d view right now you can see what we have just uh, achieved just now you can see that we have successfully right now um done inserted all our floor slab as you can see there you can see our floor slab there all inserted as you can see it here so this is how to insert or to add um a ground bin and also a floor slab right here in portal structure for this structure as you can see it here okay so right now the next stage right now that we will be moving right now is to go and, and now perform the design and then um, run the run the structural analysis for for this a story office building that will be in the next part which is part um four of this of this uh lesson for today okay so right now we are done for today's class and then watch out for the next video which is the which is the design and the and, and then the structural analysis of this structure and also if you have not subscribed to my channel ekidel i'll say you please click on the subscribe button so you don't miss um all our coming videos right now so you can see that in our part one we did the full model of of this structure from part one and if you have and if you mix that video i'll say you um check on the link down below and then you will be able to watch at the all all the parts of this video up to this very end okay so right now let us say a good thank you for you that have watched us to this very end and also i hail all my subscribers from uganda all my subscribers from kenya and from nigeria and from india and thailand i hear you guys you guys are really wonderful and i would say that you should please uh, recommend my channel to your friends and family and your colleagues so that they will also know how to use photo structure to design um concrete structure and also steel structure okay so thank you right now and god bless you